Well, hey sisters, Donna Parto here, welcoming you to day 14 of our Hope Again series. Together we're studying my book, Becoming a Vessel of God's Power. Give God 30 days and see what he will do. Today I want to talk to you about doing what Jesus did. That's a bold, that's a bold heading, isn't it? To do what Jesus did. He was the Son of God. How could we possibly do what Jesus did? That sounds presumptuous, doesn't it? Ah, but the disciples, the disciples dared. Can we do any less? Let me read a scripture to you and then explain the background. Matthew 4 verses 18 through 20. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he called two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. Now let's get a little bit of context. Every Jewish boy was groomed from birth for one job and one job only. As soon as they saw him come out of the womb of boy, he was on one mission, and that was to become a rabbi. And from a very early age, they began memorizing, and the first thing that they had to do was to memorize the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible, and they memorized the entire thing. And if they were good enough, if they were smart enough, and they worked hard enough, and they achieved that, then they made it to the next level of, of schooling on the path to becoming a rabbi. And at the next level, they had to memorize the entire Old Testament if they worked hard enough if they were smart enough, if they were diligent, they could make it to the next level where they memorized the vast volume of teachings, the, the Torah and the commentary of other rabbis, and they memorized just mountains and mountains of rabbinical teaching. And if they were good enough and they were smart enough, maybe, just maybe, they could make it to the next level. And that was the big moment when a rabbi looked at them and said, we see all that you've accomplished, all that you've done so far in your life, and we see potential in you and believe that maybe, just maybe, you've got what it takes. And one rabbi would point out a little boy and say, I want you to become my disciple. And in that moment, that young boy knew that he had made it just steps away from the pinnacle, his goal of being a rabbi. And now his mission was to live and study under that rabbi and to do exactly what the rabbi did, to teach what he taught, to eat as he, as he ate, to imitate him in every way so that he could become exactly like his mentor, exactly like his rabbi. And then ultimately, he himself would be a rabbi and he would repeat the process of choosing disciples out of those who had graduated through the various levels of rabbinical training. So the disciples at this moment, when Jesus says, come follow me, he's saying it as a rabbi. And he's saying it to men who are fishermen. Why were they fishermen? Because they weren't good enough to be a rabbi. At some point along that journey, they didn't measure up. They weren't good enough. They weren't smart enough. No rabbi saw potential in them, or maybe even if they did achieve that, no rabbi saw enough potential in them to say, come, be my disciple. This is what they worked for all of their life, and they had tried and failed. That's why they were out on the Sea of Galilee, because they were rejects, they were cast off, they hadn't made the team, hadn't made the cut. And Jesus looks at them and says, come follow me and do what I'm doing. Jesus was making, Jesus was a fisher of man. He said, come and do exactly what I'm doing. That's why when he told Peter, you know, when he stepped out of the boat and walked on water, Peter thought, well, that's what my rabbi is doing. I'm supposed to become like him. That's what I'll do too. Sisters, no matter who you are, if you're the kind of person that the world has never seen potential in, if you're the kind of person who feels like, you know, I've never been good enough. I've never been smart enough. I've never made the grade. And even if you did achieve all that the world says you could achieve still, you never felt that special moment when your role model, you know, reached out to you and said, you, you're the one I see it all in you. Jesus, Jesus sees it in you. 
even if no one else does. And he says to you, and he says to me, come follow me, become my disciple, and I'll teach you how to do exactly what I've been doing. In fact, Jesus said to his disciples, you'll do even greater things, even greater things than I've done. It's hard to believe, but you know, believe it because it's true and it's what God, God's word teaches. We can become fishers of men and we can do as Jesus did. Well, that's your challenge for today and I'll see you tomorrow.